Okay, so this time we're going to be going for a real update. So let's begin. We're going to save Yuka. In the plaza, there's a huge mob of Gojo soldiers, demons, and spectators gathered. It's Yuka! Hurry, let's rescue her! There's not much time! Hold it, Yuji. Calm down! Don't be foolish. If we run out into the plaza now, we'll be shot down before we get within 200 feet of Yuka. The resistance group, in its arrogance, has been continually opposing the plans of our great leader, Goto. And after a long and arduous search, we have finally captured their leader, Yuka! Goto is a kind man, and has forgiven this woman for the many acts of sabotage and terrorism that she has organized against our great country. However, that does not erase her crime of opposing him in the first place. Therefore, I sentence this woman, Yuka, to death. Wait, I see we have some uninvited guests hiding over there. Come on out, little weasels. I've arranged special front row seats to this event just for you. Time to say goodbye to Yuka, Kazuya. Poor Kazuya. Don't you see? If only you had chosen me instead, this wouldn't have had to happen to her. All right then, do it. Kill them. This video is actually edited quite a bit, so. Yeah, you see, um, I had to go into Movie Maker and trim this video down to, I, I want to say I trimmed it down for three or four minutes, and yeah, I, I pretty much only deleted the uh, fight with the cops at the beginning because it's, it's the same as fighting the soldiers right here, so. I didn't find it was necessary. Not to mention, half of the viewers will probably skip the fights anyway, as they're only interested in the story. Those of you who do stick around for the fights though, will see that this game has an amazing combat system. If not, but it, it, it's kind of frustrating. Um, as you play, you, you have to collect the demons, but, um, Jack-o'-lantern won't always get into your party, and without him, you're pretty much screwed in this fight. Like, there's no way you're, you can possibly win it. Or at least, the three times I've tried the fight without Jack-o'-lantern, I was, I had lost. And with Jack-o'-lantern, I made it through this fight no problem at all. And you'll see that. Anyway, the basic strategy here is to strengthen your party with Goblin. That's what I do. I use Dry Head to heal or, uh... Happy the enemies. Jack o' Lantern also uses a, a full magic set. I have Kazi to just attack because he doesn't have a gun or magic. Um, Yuji uses a Maza Zone. And I'll have Takashi uh, use his gun and shoot every enemy. It, it, or I'll have him do full damage with the uh, magic. Either way, I do damage to every every enemy, so it works no matter how you do that. So, despite me stuttering throughout that, pretty much I just attack and then heal with one of my demons. And speaking of which, I didn't talk any during the bonus video, and I thought now would be a good time to mention that that part about Ozawa, believe it or not, becomes very important. And and not anytime soon, but it, it does eventually become important. So, yeah, be expecting that. Mm -hmm. 
Did I mention that spot was alone? Yeah, I'm sure I did. Um, I'm planning my, not my next video, but the video after the end of this first arc to be about, um, it'll be just me showing you an analysis of all the demons, letting you get an idea of what they look like. And then moving on to my next video, and that video should be able that that video should be done in like I don't know ten it, it take like ten minutes to make that video, no problem at all. So I, I see no reason not to do the video, and I I'm I'm gonna do it, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I I bought Persona 3 Portable recently, and I still find this game to be a much better installment than Persona 3. Um, I guess I'm just not into simulations, you know, school simulations, but even the combat, the combat's just lacking in that game, and the enemies are so cheap. I mean, I could say the enemies are cheap on here, but the game doesn't force me to level up on here. Where in that game, you can get screwed just by not leveling up once before a fight, or going in there with a full party and not healing beforehand. And, and if you played the game, you know what I'm talking about. If not, you're just going to think, oh, well, he sucks at RPGs, but no, it, it's really a hard game. Okay, we're almost at the end of the fight now. Just got to do one or two more attacks. And I, I don't know if I'll ever charm the enemies. Like the charm system's pretty broken, but all all Shin Megami Tensei fans will tell you that. And there we go, end of the fight. So back to some more crappy voice acting. But but first, experience. Ah, lawnmower in the background. It would seem, it would seem that I've lost this time. You rescued me just like you did before in our dream. Thank you. We can't use our old hideout anymore, so come find us at the bar. You should get out of here as soon as you can, too. Good luck. Okay. Good video, I'm Kyosha192, and that is it.